Make sure to be a member on the channel, link is in the description. Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. So, uh, some things that I forgot to mention, some things that I were finding in the files, let's talk a, a little bit about some things that are coming to War Thunder and expect another dev server very soon, even though it's still open, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the first one, but we, sh we shall see another one probably on the weekend. Uh, so we are here in the mid-17 um, and apparently it got a new cockpit, which is amazing, look at it. I think it's really different, at least the central part of it feels more realistic, you know. And it has a cool uh, little thing that it's working properly. And yeah, just very, very cool. Uh, it's weird that this side system, I think it's not too realistic. I think there were a lot of another system that they used, not a fixed one, uh, a gyroscopic one, but it is not uh, right here. But yeah, the MiG-17s received receive a new uh, cockpit. And of course, remember that I show it to you guys. Uh, that Jesus um, so yeah napalm is added to war thunder as, as I show it where's the bombs yeah napalm is added to war thunder as you see and there are a lot of other versions of napalm bombs and other weapons that are in the files so let's talk a little bit about it so first things first let's talk about uh, the napalm bomb so we have three new bombs over here so here we have the Mark 77 Mod 4 bomb, uh, which was used uh, in the Desert Storm um, campaign. And yeah, basically it is 500 pounds, pretty good, American one. Here we have the Mark 77 Mod 2, as you see. And it was uh, started production after the Vietnam War, so uh, this is the late one and this is the first one. And this is a more advanced one, uh, the BLU uh, 27, which is heavier, 70, uh, uh, 750 pounds, so 750 pounds, so pretty big bomb. bomb. So I don't know what we, we, we will see using this, but yeah, we will see some napalm stuff. Uh, the usefulness of this is questionable, but... Still a pretty good uh, thing to see. And speaking of new weapon types, we saw this, uh, which is basically an AGM-78, uh, which is a seed weapon, probably used in the A6, but other weapons as well. Uh, so yeah, anti-radiation missile, which basically changes um, the head of the missile for a passive uh, receiver, like a semi-active missile. And in that way, it can lock onto emitting radiation uh, AA systems. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, very advanced weaponry, but we shall see more uh, early stuff as well, like the KH-25 MP and the Shrike missile, hopefully, if this thing is actually added. So, I don't know, but yeah, we can only hope. Uh, I'm, the, I'm a defendant of this type of weapon for a long time now. I really think that it should be added to war thunder this type of weaponry and even um, anti-ship missiles but uh, it is on the um, ship side of missiles and assets on the cdk so this could be the rim i think it's 66 or something like that which is an anti-ship missile but we don't know exactly uh, so basically it is an agm 78 uh, so yeah other things that are added, uh, a lot of people are talking about this. Of course, we have many gauges and altitude indicators, hydraulic systems, engine oil pressures, uh, indicators, everything like that, from, with a name of A6E. So basically confirming that they are developing the intruder, uh, but we cannot know um, if it's going to be added at all or, or not. So yeah, for now, we just have the, the rumor that might be in the patch. We shall see in the weekend if anything is added. Here are some of the things that I already talked about it, uh, but yeah, the six kind of confirmed for a future update or this one. Uh, another map, India map, textures for it, so like a um, Kashmir kind of thing. And MI4, a new version of the MI4, but I think this was. Uh, 
you know, uh, found a while back, but I, I cannot... Yeah, he was re-added, so there's not too much into it. It's just an MI4 that doesn't have ETGMs. Uh, as I said, the AGM78 here, uh, but but uh, we still have the AIM-54C, we have the AIM-54B and the AIM, uh, AIM-9M uh, in the files. Uh, the AIM-9N is, is there a while back, so that just shows us that this is our just probably stuff that we are going to see in future updates, you know. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's going to come uh, right now, so you know, don't expect an AIM-54C. It doesn't change much from the A, but uh, in performance-wise, but yeah, it's a little bit more modern with digital, digital components instead of analog computer systems, so it doesn't change much, but still more modern, so, but we don't expect to have that. We don't even have the M9L on the, on the F14. So yeah, all these things, pretty cool. And another thing that we see, of course, is the MiG-17 PF, uh, which is in the files, I already talked about it a little bit. Um, it is basically a MiG-17, a normal that we have, but it cha exchanges the VK-1 uh, for the VK-1F engine, having an afterburner, and exchanges the nose uh, for um, a radar nose, uh, so it has basically the same radar as the MiG-19, and in that manner you can actually uh, use different missiles and stuff, you can even, I think, use the R. S to US, I think it's called, which is a beam riding missile very early that was, was used in the 17 and on the 19. But yeah, we probably should see something like that or even uh, the version with the, um, at least the R3S, you know. Uh, but yeah, very short range radar, basically 12 kilometers max range. Uh, probably detection, it's like 8 or 7. So it's basically a within via visual range kind of radar. Um, but it is an aircraft that I've been waiting a long time to see. Another difference is that exchanges one of the 37 millimeter, uh, the 37 millimeter of the MiG-17 for another 23 millimeter, because the objective is to be a fighter. So yeah, kind of weird, but pretty cool. Uh, it has the the Soviet markings here, but don't mind this. It is called the Lim uh, 6 or the Lim 5, which is kind of weird because in the files there is a Lim 5P which is just a normal MiG-17 built in, in Poland. So uh, yeah, it, we have the normal M5P, that I think it's just a normal MiG-17, uh, uh, like a MiG-17F. And we should receive uh, the PV PF variant of the MiG-17PF. So I don't know if it, one, it's going to be a premium or anything like that. I, I really don't know. I expect it, I mean, if I'm being honest, I wish uh, the MiG-17 PF was added to the Soviet Union, you know, and I wish the LIMS-5 or the MiG-17F was added to after the MiG-15 and the German 3. So this would gap a little bit the, the holes that we have in those both threes, you know. It is an aircraft that I'm expecting for a long time, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, there are a lot of uh, small little things like a pod for the textures for a pod for the Vikir, for the Sukhoi 25T, uh, but it's just the name of the pod that is used in that aircraft, so don't expect anything, probably for a future update. And there's some other minor stuff, like the AIM-54 actually received an um, inertial system, like the R-24, similar, but a little bit better. Uh, so now it should work a little bit better um, using especially the TWS, but also with the with the basically Fox 3 kind of thing, just losing lock and gaining lock again. So yeah, it should work a lot better. Uh, there are still a lot of things that can change. And yeah, I'm going to try to bring more videos for you guys to see. And I see you guys on the weekend, probably with another dev server. If the dev server is released, on the weekend of our first or like on Thursday or something like that. Uh, we shall receive the patch on the next Tuesday, I think. Uh, it's my opinion, but normally it's like that. So yeah, I see you guys on the next one. Leave it in the comments. What's the most the important uh, thing that you are expecting on this patch? If it's just the F14 or other stuff. 
and yeah make sure to click on the little bell icon and i see you guys on the next one so yeah bye guys